its first game since that 4-1 win over the Wanderers, while Nuno Reis, of course, Leighton Brooks came off the bench to score his first. Away we go in the 34th Melbourne derby. Testing Galloway. Great angle. Oh, side foot from Jake Bremer was just wide, and that's one of the victory's best moves. He's in the boots. Outside of the boots, in! He has scored the goal of the season before, and this might take some topping as well. Andrew Naboot from the wrong side for that kind of action. But it didn't matter. In off the post for a worldie against his former club. Just his second goal as a City player. But it's straight on. Yeah, but it's still alive for City. And the shot is a beauty that fizzes just wide from Connor Metcalf. Luna. Off the shoulder, I think, in the end. Oh, Anderson's made a massive mistake. Jamie McLaren to punish. He couldn't make it two for City. But this uh, back four. Traore has filled Andrew Naboot and the red card is coming out. The victory down to 10 inside half an hour to him. And now Naboot wins a penalty against Butterfield. The makeshift left back for only a minute or two until that substitution could be made. And he's a fish out of water in that spot. Against Matt Acton and McLaren sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. What's new? J-Mac has another A-League goal, 94, and in his first 50 games for Melbourne City, that's 43. It's looking ominous again for the victory. Here is McManaman. Good burst of speed and tries to blast it in that top corner. Tom Glover reads the riot act. The header. Acton dragged it across the line for another corner. In the 34th Melbourne derby. City 2, the victory nil. It's uh, raised intensity a little bit. I wasn't happy with in you know, the first half. May on the pass again. The boot in behind. And it ricochet up into that top corner. That was great reactions from Acton. Wasn't it just Andrew in the boots? Takes on that long range strike. And he's been spotted by Jamison here. Turns provider, does he? Craig Noon side netting. Brilliant by McLaren again. Is Marco Tilio. Great ball in, and Jamie McLaren heads home his second and says to Marco Tilio, Welcome to the party, young man. He put it on a dime for City's number nine. There's in the boot providing so many highlights, that's a penalty. Chris Beef gives it. Marco Tilio has earned the spot kick off Jake Brimmer and the smarts of this young man. Three. Jamie McLaren dispatches his second spot kick of the night and it is hat-trick time and match ball again for Jamie McLaren who looks uncatchable in the golden boot race and Marco Tilio has a couple of assists and gets a... They're inside the penalty area, the victory and the shots! Oh! Top lover! Where is it? He's mighty relieved to see it. Move, O'Neill's found him and the header for McLaren, he scored four in a derby. That is a new benchmark, and he's loving the service of the substitutes. First Tilio, and now Kolakowski. He wants number five, McLaren! Second man since Archie Thompson to score five in an A-League game. And it's that same scoreline again, Melbourne City fans. Get the number sixes out again. Back in the lead up to that last goal. Luna! Seven! Seventh heaven for the City fans and their players in a derby. They're flying in at the moment. And historic night. The 34th Melbourne Derby sees Jamie McLaren score five. It is Melbourne City seven. The Melbourne victory nil.